Hi everybody, this is Tim Boss for FinancialCyclesWeekly.com and today we want to take a look at some of the most popular uh, true or false questions about astrology and money, you know, and working with the financial markets and using astrology to forecast stock market trends and to uh, develop an astro trading system uh, that has a, an 11 year track record of profitability. I've dealt with money and astrology from a lot of different angles. But the amazing thing is how many questions people have about the actual application of astrology to money. So we're going to deal with a few true or false questions today to try to clarify some of those core concepts. The first true or false question is the fact that only certain zodiac signs have the ability to get rich. You know, I've heard it said that if you're a Taurus, then uh, you can automatically make a lot of money. Uh, but uh, if you're a, a, a Scorpio, uh, then uh, chances are you won't be as financially successful. Uh, or if you're a Gemini, uh, then you're likely to spend all of your money on entertainment and not uh, be as good a saver as somebody else. So there are lots of, of uh, ideas about what zodiac sign it takes uh, in order for you to be financially successful. And there is this notion that only certain signs of the zodiac have the actual ability to get rich, but that turns out to be a false statement. The fact is, no matter what sign of the zodiac you were born under, there is potential for you to turn your natural talents into financial success. And that's what real money astrology is all about, helping you discover your true potential as an individual and finding ways to turn that into personal success and financial success as well. Another question that comes up or a statement is that your personal horoscope can actually tell you when you're the most likely to get lucky. And this applies to uh, getting lucky in all matters of, of life, not just financially, but it's certainly uh, when we talk about luck, we're always uh, concerned with financial success as a part of that. So it's a core uh, concept relating to money astrology. Does your individual horoscope, based on the exact time and location of your birth, give you any information about the times uh, when you're likely to be more successful than others, the times when you're likely to get lucky? And actually, this is true. Uh, we can identify when we have an accurate birth chart for you, those times coming up in the future when you have the greatest periods of opportunity. And likewise, the times when you're most likely to experience uh, occasions of uh, stress of one sort or another. Knowing about those in advance is one of the great advantages that real astrology brings. So yes, your personal horoscope can tell you when you are the most likely to get lucky. There's also the statement that if there aren't any signs of money in your individual horoscope, uh, then you're never going to be a financial success. In other words, this has to show up in your chart in order for you to actually be successful financially. And I, I get a lot of clients who come to me and say, listen, I've never been for, uh, fortunate financially. Show me what's going on with my chart. Uh, that prohibits me uh, from being able to succeed with money. Now, certainly people have varying degrees of ability to deal with money and things will differ from individual to individual. But essentially, this is a false <coughs> statement. In working with a competent and certified professional astrologer, that astrologer can help you not only identify what's going on in your horoscope, what the potential obstacles are uh, to financial success, but also help you develop specific strategies for getting around those problems. And that's one of the core things that real astrology can do for you. It can help you identify the potential obstacles that are there and then 
uh, by doing things like changing your location or changing your association with individuals, changing your activities in certain ways, looking at the timing of the decisions that you make, you can actually improve your likelihood of financial success regardless of what's going on in your natal horoscope. It takes a competent and certified professional astrologer to guide you through that process, but it's worth it to identify the strategies that will work best for you. Now, getting advice from a certified professional astrologer can be a big help during tough economic times. You know, we've had periods of extended recession and massive unemployment and lots of challenges that have faced individuals on a very large scale. And when economic times turn down, uh, everybody suffers. Uh, it's, it's rare to find individuals who aren't impacted in one way or another when we have uh, adverse economic circumstances. Uh, but the fact is that even when times are tough, getting advice from a certified professional astrologer can, in fact, be a big help. The strategies that a, a good astrologer can help you identify and an understanding of how long some economic cycles are likely to last can be a genuine assistance for you in making plans to not only survive tough economic times, but to actually prosper in the midst of them as well. That's one of the great things about using real astrology. Then finally, there's the idea that do-it-yourself money astrology can work out for you just fine if you just take the time to read a good horoscope book that gives you some uh, background information and then visit the right websites online uh, to get the information you need uh, to get day-by-day -day astrological guidance. And we want to admit here that there are some very, very good books available on astrology and on you know, the money aspects of astrology as well. And we recommend that you take time to investigate those and read them. And there's some fine resources available online as well. But the fact of the matter is that that is no substitute for working with a certified professional astrologer. When you try to do it yourself, it's easy to make mistakes and to overlook some of the real opportunities that are available there for you. So we recommend that you take time to investigate working with a professional astrologer. Find one in your community. Be sure, if you're dealing with money issues, that you find an astrologer who is not only uh, certified by uh, one of the national or international astrological associations who has gone through training and testing for their competence, but also an astrologer who has some experience in dealing specifically with financial matters, especially looking at the markets and understanding the fluctuations of the economy and working with businesses and with individuals uh, who have financial challenges. So there is no substitute for that kind of competence uh, uh, and it's kind of like being your own plumber or your own brain surgeon uh, if you try to do it yourself. Sometimes you can be successful, uh, but the cost of mistakes uh, can be quite crippling uh, if you try to do it yourself when competent professional help is actually available. So those are some of our true or false uh, questions uh, that we're dealing with today. If you've got other true or false statements or questions about astrology, we encourage you to leave a comment on this video. List your true or false questions and we'll get them uh, to them in another video and address those as well because we want to create some clarity and uh, get rid of some of the misconceptions about how powerful money astrology really is. Now, if you are looking for professional help with money astrology, we encourage you to visit www.timbost.com. You'll find information there on consultations and links to other resources on financial astrology and the different ways that astrology can help you. So this is Tim Bost with FinancialCyclesWeekly.com. I want to thank you for taking time to join me and watch this video on money astrology, true or false. We hope we've been able to clear up some of the uh, confusion for you and uh, help you determine what's true and what's false about money astrology. Thanks again for watching.